Adding purlins to the structure of a roof can be accomplished quickly and efficiently using the automatic roof framing tools. In this video, I'll walk through adding purlins to the roof and building the framing for the roof structure. I've drawn a structure that's 50 feet wide and 30 feet deep. I frame the walls with posts and girts. If you're unfamiliar with the process of creating a wall with girts and posts, I recommend watching the videos on horizontal framing on the Chief Architect website. To create purlins or horizontal roof framing members, start by opening the Build Roof dialog. This can be done by going to the Roof Tools Parent button and clicking on the Build Roof button. I've gone ahead and set the roof to be a 6 and 12 pitch, and since I'm building this roof using trusses, I've checked the trusses no bird's mouth checkbox. If you're building a roof using traditional stick framing, checking this checkbox isn't necessary. I've also unchecked the automatic bird's mouth cut checkbox and set the raise off plate value to 8 inches. On the structure panel, to add the purlins, we need to add them to the roof surface layers. So I'll click on the edit button next to surface. In the window that comes up, I'll select the lowest layer, in this case my OSB layer, and I'll click on the insert below button to create a copy of the OSB layer. I'll then click on the material name of my new layer and do a search in my library for fur framing. Once I've selected the fur framing material, I need to adjust the thickness for the material. I'm going to be using 2x6 purlins, so I want the thickness to be the true thickness of a 2x6, which means I'll set it to be 1.5 inches thick. Next, I need to tell Chief to create purlins out of the fur framing material. So with my new fur framing material layer selected, I'll check the purlins checkbox. I'll then set the type of purlin it is. In this case, I'll leave it set at lumber, but there are several options that are available. I'll set the on-center spacing to be 24 inches and set the width to be 5.5 inches to make sure Chief builds the purlins as 2x6 purlins. I'll click OK so I'm looking at the structure panel. Two more changes I want to make is to adjust the rafter spacing and to turn off the lookouts. Since this roof is mainly going to be supported by trusses and purlins, I don't want extra roof rafters to be generated. To solve this, I'll set the rafter spacing to be the same spacing as my trusses, 8 foot on center. The other piece of the roof structure I don't need are lookouts. Support for the overhangs will be covered by the purlins, so I don't want Chief generating any lookouts for me. So I'll uncheck the lookouts checkbox. Now that I've added purlins to my roof construction, changed the rafter spacing, and turned off the lookouts, it's time to build the framing. While I'm still on the structure panel of the Build Roof dialog, I can simply check the Automatically Build Roof Framing checkbox and click OK. And that's how you add purlin framing to your roof plans.